Today I want to take a few minutes to candidly talk to you about a few things that you're probably not thinking about when it comes to self-defense and everyday carry. What I want to tell you is that I have an extensive background in, let's say, defensive measures per se. I am currently a police officer. I have been so for nearly 11 years now. I am, let's say, active duty. I work every day. I've worked in some very busy areas and all across the state of Ohio. But what I can tell you is a lot of people don't talk about when it comes to self-defense and everyday carry is the mental aspect of it. What people do not think about is what it's going to do to your psyche and how it's going to change and the mindset that you need to have. Mindset is no replacement for training and getting medical gear and equipment and having legal coverage. But what I want to talk about with mindset is that when you go into a situation, you have to have and made and had that talk with yourself that what you're doing and carrying a gun is a very, very serious thing. Okay, if you happen to pull out your gun and you use it in self-defense, it's going to change you forever. It is not going to be the same. It's going to change you. It's going to change the way you think. It's going to change the way you look at the world. The first time, if it ever happens, God forbid, you point a gun at somebody that's loaded, and let's say you give them orders in that respect, it's going to change you. You will not feel the same. It will not be the same for you. To this point in my career, I honestly cannot tell you how many times I've, let's say, completed a felony stop procedure where I pointed a loaded gun at somebody for a violent offense and ordered them to do something. Okay, it's not normal at the end of the day. Nobody talks about that. That act of doing that and having that talk with yourself that if the time came where you had to either use deadly force or let's say threaten deadly force because you're able to actually talk down a situation and it presents that type of situation because you have the proper mindset, training, and experience, you gotta be ready for it and nobody talks about it. And I don't frankly know why. I think it's because sometimes we have people in this world that give advice on things that they have no business giving advice on. There's people that are far more experienced than me. And for myself, I'm always a student. And what that brings me into with always being a student is you always need to be trained. You need to get training. The idea that you can go out to the range, shoot by yourself, shoot with a close buddy, and get better is ridiculous. You need to go and shoot with people that are either better than you who know how to shoot better than you, teach better than you, or have a better background than you. Shoot with somebody who is better than you. They will make you a better shooter. Lose your ego, okay? You don't need to depend on ego to be a good shooter. You need to practice and get proper training. There's tons of great people out there. Myself, I have experience through, let's say, training that's been provided to me for law enforcement, but I've also went out and got it on my own where there's long range pistol stuff, a rifle. I've taken Achilles heel tactical training classes. They are fantastic. They're a great option. Okay, this might be, a, let's say, a pitch for them, but it's because I truly believe in what they do and the guys that teach it are very down to earth, welcoming, and I learned a lot and go into just a simple baseline pistol class the first time. So with your training aspects, you should also get some form of medical training. With medical training, the reason you need to get into medical training and have that is because when you put holes in somebody or somebody gets seriously injured because of a self-defense situation, in my opinion, you need to try and save their life. Okay, it's what I have to do and I'm required to do as a police officer is that if I get in a, let's say, officer-involved shooting, I'm required to render aid to the suspect after I've shot them or after you know, another officer has shot them. And I think that everybody else should do that too. We're not in this world to sit here and take lives, especially in self-defense in a civilian world. Okay, we're here to protect life. We're here to save lives. All right, I know that sounds crazy because you're gonna think, well, some scumbag just shot at me and I had to take his life. Okay, well, you should probably try and save them. And if that's not the case, let's say you exchange rounds with somebody and you take them back, you should probably know how to apply a tourniquet. Okay, you should probably know what this is. And if you don't know what this is, this right here is actually a MVAC. So this is gonna be an individual first officer or individual's first aid kit, okay? With that, there's chest seals in there, there's gauze, wound packing materials, band-aids. I've got a little bit of everything. I even have some Benadryl in there, okay? We're not gonna get into nuts and bolts of medical gear. But what you need to do is know how to apply a tourniquet, know how to do this, know how to do CPR, know how to recognize what somebody needs as far as for, let's say, casualty care because they're gonna need it, okay? And if they don't need it, somebody else might need it. If you go into an active shooter situation, Let's say you stop the threat. Well, don't you want to try and help somebody who's injured? What if that person that's in that, that home or that business or that school is a four-year-old kid? Do you want to know how to apply wound dressings to them? Do you want to know how to save their life? Because if you just shoot, a, a, shoot that you know, active shooter or that aggressor and you just let some kid die because you have no idea how to apply medical training and gear and equipment, what good are you doing? 
Okay, have those talks for yourself. This is all part of the mental aspect also. And finally, something that I can tell you that I was extremely skeptical about from the very beginning was self-defense carry insurance. It was something I never thought about, okay? Recently we went to SHOT Show, I had the opportunity to actually speak to somebody who sold self-defense carry insurance. For myself, I never really thought I needed it just because of being a law enforcement officer. I have certain protections, I have my own legal coverages and things like that, but there are limitations to that. For the average citizen, if you go out and you get in a shooting, you will need legal coverage. You will get arrested at the scene. I can promise you, you will get arrested at the scene. You will likely get released later if they find enough to, let's say, release you, but you're gonna get arrested because the officers have to secure that scene, okay? And with that being said, you're gonna need to talk to an attorney. So you're gonna need to get legal coverage. And what I'm gonna bring up is the folks at Right to Bear Carry Insurance have a really great program. Their prices are low. They're at $125 for an entire year. Yeah, I bet you pay more than that for your Netflix membership for the whole year to watch a bunch of shows that you honestly don't need to watch. And yeah, I have Netflix. But in addition to that, I also now have right to bear insurance. And with that being said, it's a really great option for you to go out and get and have protection, have peace of mind. With that being said, with that insurance, what you get is you get the ability that once you get arrested, okay, or you're involved in that shooting, or let's say they even said they cover ADs and NDs. So what that is, if you don't know, is an accidental discharge or a negligent discharge. So let's say that you're, you know, in a building or something, you have an AD, they will provide legal coverage for you, okay? With that being said, you're able to then call somebody 24 seven and talk to an attorney, talk to a lawyer, and then they will get somebody out there for you and provide that legal coverage for you. All for your $125, you get all the legal coverage you need. You're gonna get your attorney fees, your court, co your court costs will be up to you if you don't know that, but the attorney fees and all that stuff will be provided and taken care of by right to bear insurance. It's the same concept as your car insurance. Now your cell phone insurance, we all know that's usually a sham. I personally don't feel like this concealed carry insurance is. With concealed carry insurance, it also is going to cover you for your civil litigation. What that means is what happens after you go through the legal system with your state or local governments and the court system, you're then gonna likely have somebody that's gonna come and sue you for killing your family member or killing their loved one. That's likely gonna happen. Concealed carry insurance from right to bear covers that as well. A lot of money that could come out of your pocket that won't for a simple 125 bucks a year. And for a lot of folks, it could be a great peace of mind aspect for you. Because like I said, you will need legal coverage. Although officers at the scene and all that stuff, they're gonna look at you and they're gonna say, oh, this person's not at fault. This person, you know, we, you know, we think that they're okay. We think that they did this out of self-defense shooting. Granted, all those cases, even let's say an officer involved shooting, gets presented to a county grand jury and grand jurors then have to choose whether they're gonna indict you or not, regardless of how everybody thinks you're innocent. So you're gonna to have to go through the legal process. It's going to happen. And there's no way to get around it. So all I ask is that you check out Right to Bear Insurance. The guys there are great. The people are great. They're honest with us. They said, we honestly don't care if you come to us. We just hope you get concealed carry insurance. And I think it's a wonderful option with concealed carry insurance. So we do have a code with them because it helps out the channel a little bit. As you can assume, channels cost a lot of money to run, and the code itself will help us out a little bit. It'll also help you save money. The code HFS10 will save you 10% on your concealed carry insurance through Right to Bear Insurance. So I, I suggest you check them out. We have links in the description for you to look at. So let's wrap this up in a quick summary for you, because I know I've been long-winded. I know I've, ta I've talked quite a bit for this. Okay, have the mindset to know that the decisions you make out on the streets to use your firearm, if you have to, will change you forever. Okay, you, it's a very, very serious business. You have to think about what you're doing. You have to realize that you're carrying a deadly implement that could take somebody else's life if you choose to use it that way. Then, get proper training. Learn how to shoot your gun and not buy what your buddy taught you, unless your buddy is, you know, got some serious credentials. Go get some training from somebody else and see multiple different instructors. It's good to have a variety. Get medical training. Learn how to apply a tourniquet. Learn how to do CPR. Learn how to do an AED. Learn how to pack a wound. Learn how to help somebody if they're dying. I don't care if you can apply a band-aid, anybody can do that. Nobody's gonna die because you got a nick on your finger. But somebody will die if you got a nick to your femoral artery. Then, get yourself concealed carry insurance. I, again, I was skeptical about it before, but I 100% think you should get it. All of us here at the channel, myself, Andrew, Joe, our families, all have concealed carry insurance now. We signed up for it, we got it ourselves, and now we have it and we're all protected. It's a peace of mind. You wouldn't drive your car down the road with no insurance, would you? Some folks do, but I promise you it'll cost you a lot of money. So guys, 
If you like this video, please like it. If you got questions, ask them in the comment section. I read all of the comments. Sometimes I get hate from my brother for it because I think it's ridiculous I read all the comments, but I truly like talking to you guys. I like reading them, I like responding. So check out the channel, tell us guys what you think. Check out the link for in the description for a discount code to help you out with that concealed carry insurance.